Good afternoon, Madam President. I am here to, uh, today to, uh, to urge uh, our Senate colleagues to join me in uh, considering the confirmation of two excellent uh, people to serve on the Postal Regulatory Commission, which is the governing body for the U.S. Postal Service. Robert Taub, he's uh, currently a commissioner, and we're seeking to uh, uh, reconfirm him, and, uh, and also uh, Thomas uh, Day, who has come through our Homeland Security Governmental Affairs Committee, uh, and I think unanimously recommended for uh, a position on the Postal Regulatory Commission. Both of these uh, public servants have spent literally decades uh, bettering uh, our country. Mr. Taub has served on the commission since 2011, and he actually served as chairman for, uh, I think, more than six years. Mr. Day has spent, listen, has over 35 years at the Postal Service, 35 years at the Postal Service, and another service in, as I recall, in uniform for our country. I'd like to add that we have unanimously confirmed Mr. Taub not once but twice uh, previously, and there is no doubt that he has served our country uh, well. Now, I, I want to share uh, three stories with you, Kurt, if I can, about a little bit about the history and the importance of the Postal Service. Uh, another about Mr. Taub's role in making the agency what it is today. And a third about Mr. Day's influence on the function of our postal uh, system across this uh, country. Um, in uh, 1787, the uh, founding fathers of our country gathered uh, in Philadelphia to, uh, to literally to, to, to draft a constitution that would outline how a, a new country might be formed and, and actually operate and, and work for the betterment of people who lived here then and, and in the, the future. They, they drafted a, a, a constitution, and they sent that, that constitution out across the uh, 13 colonies and asked the colonies to look at it, kick the tires, find out what they liked and what they thought ought to be changed. And the first uh, state to actually take it up and, and confirm, affirm, ratify, if you will, that constitution was uh, the colony is now Delaware, the state of Delaware. And we, uh, on December 7th, 1787, after a week or so of debate and at the Golden Fleece Tavern, the uh, founding fathers of Delaware said, we like this constitution and maybe tweaked it a little bit and send it on to the other uh, colonies who followed the suit. Delaware was for one whole week the entire United States of America. And uh, then we opened it up. Uh, we let in Pennsylvania and Maryland and, and the rest. I think it's turned out pretty well for the most part until now. And hopefully we'll continue to, uh, to uh, exist for many, many years, decades, centuries into the future. One the key element of the Constitution was the creation of the Postal Service. And the first Postmaster General was actually, believe it or not, Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin. The establishment of the Postal Service represented a, an important early uh, effort uh, to bind us together as a nation, to bind us together as a nation, to unite us in communication with one another. That work continues today as postal workers, workers cover all 50 states. They did it today. They'll do it at least six days this week. And uh, to also make sure that we have the ability to provide the postal service to folks who live in the U.S. territories. Delivering the mail that helps uh, unite our families, it helps to grow our businesses, and it helps to enable, really to enable our democracy to function and, uh, and thrive. More than two centuries later, we continue to live up uh, to that promise. In uh, 2006, one of our colleagues, Senator Susan Collins and I, led the uh, passage of the Postal Accountability and Enhancement Act, literally on this floor where we're gathered today, the legislation, that legislation modernized the Postal Service for the first time, I think, since 1970. Uh, and uh, and uh, just last year, uh, we went on to, to pass the, uh, on, top of, uh, on top of that, the uh, Postal Service Reform Act to shore up uh, the agency's financial foundation, including a requirement for all Postal Service retirees to enroll in Medicare when they became eligible uh, for those uh, benefits. Over the past couple of years, uh, I've had the opportunity to work with uh, Postmaster General Louis DeJoy and the Postal Commission to make the, uh, the agency even more energy uh, efficient. And together, we've successfully, successfully secured billions of dollars to expand the number of electrical vehicles in the Postal Service delivery fleet. Though Postal Service has one of the biggest delivery fleets in the country, they also have one of the oldest and one of the most polluting. And what we've uh, done is worked with the leadership of the Postal Service 
to, uh, to make sure that as those old vehicles time out, and they, they really, for the most part, have timed out. They need to be replaced. They're going to be replaced uh, with uh, vehicles that will uh, not only help us deliver the mail and do an even better job of that, but to make sure that uh, uh, the uh, delivery vehicles that are out there aren't making worse the cr a climate crisis that we're going through as a, a nation, as a, as a, a, a planet. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit of, uh, more about Mr. Tobb, if I could, and how he has been an integral, uh, integral to the changes that we've seen in the Postal Service, especially uh, as it has become more modern and more efficient. After spending uh, years as a, a staff member to members of Congress and, uh, and ambassador, he has been working for the Government uh, Accountability Office. Mr. Tobb, native New Yorker, became Chief of Staff to then Congressman John McHugh, an old friend and a very good member of, of, of the House, Re a Republican, as I recall. But under uh, Representative McHugh's uh, leadership, Mr. Taub helped craft the, craft the Postal Accountability and, and an and Enhancement Act in the House of Representatives. That was the same, uh, le that's the same legislation that I mentioned earlier that I worked on with Senator Collins and together with Representative McHugh and his team, we ushered the bill to the President's desk where it was signed into law again in 2006. This transformation of the Postal Service was just the beginning for Mr. Tobbs' involvement with the Postal Service. After establishing his expertise in the public sector, he continued, to, to the, uh, the, to the, uh, continued on beyond this work. When uh, Representative McHugh was appointed Secretary of the Army, and his Secretary uh, uh, McHugh, and as, his, as, uh, as uh, his, uh, uh, Secretary McHugh's principal civilian advisor, Mr. Tobb helped lead a workforce of more than, get this, 1.2 million people and manage an annual budget exceeding $200 billion, no small feat. And for his exemplary work, uh, Mr. Taub was awarded the Army's Decoration for Distinguished Civilian Service. All this led to Mr. Taub uh, serving on the Postal Regulatory Commission uh, under not one, not two, but three presidents, including both Democrats and Republicans. He was first nominated to the commission in 2011, and his strong leadership led to his appointment as chairman of the commission in 2011. 14. As I like to say, in adversity lies opportunity. And despite uh, the troubles left over from a previous chairman, Mr. Taub took adversity in stride. He embraced the role of chairman with diligence and grace. He led a massive undertaking to study and to revise the postal rate system. As a result of the Postal Accountability Enhancement Act, he helped to pass. And in 2016, his work paid off when he was once again confirmed to be chairman to do to the commission and continue to serve as chairman. Mr. Day has had an incredible record with the Postal Service as well. Let me just take a minute and talk about it. In his 35 years at the agency, he has held almost every role imaginable, including that of a Vice President of Engineering Department and the Government Affairs Department, as well as the Chief Sustainability Officer. And in his role on the sustainability team, Mr. Day helped lead the Postal Service into environmentally conscious practices of the 21st century. As chairman of the Environmental and Public Works Committee, he, I know the importance, that's my role, but I know the importance of our agencies carrying out practices that protect our planet. Mr. Day shares this belief and understands it firsthand. For example, he's been working to reduce the fuel emissions of the aging postal fleet I talked about and to do that over the, uh, the past uh, decade. Let me be clear, if I could, the kind of institutional knowledge and expertise that Mr. Day holds is unique and would make him an extremely valuable asset on the commission. Mr. Day also has experience working with the exchange of mail on an international scale, serving in senior positions at the Universal Postal Union, a United Nations agency, and at the International uh, Post uh, Corporation. And on top of that, he's a graduate of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point and has bravely served in the U.S. Army. I'm a retired Navy captain, last Vietnam veteran, serving in the U.S. Senate. And when I learned about his service in the Army, I'm a Navy guy, I said, different uniforms, same team, and uh, thank him for, for all of his service in, in uniform as well. There's uh, no doubt that uh, someone with this commitment to our nation would make a terrific addition to the Postal Regulatory Commission. Together, Mr. Taub, Mr. Day will continue revising the postal rates uh, system and modernizing the agency for the best, for the betterment of our country. For this uh, reason, among many others, we think it's imperative that we confirm both of them, not one of them, but both of them, make sure that the commission is fully, fully uh, staffed. 
Congress and the Postal Service uh, customers rely on the Commission to hold the agency accountable for its service performance and to ensure its prices follow the law and its practices follow the law. And it is our duty to make sure the agency can perform at the highest level, including for the good of our planet. I like to say service to others is the rent we pay for the space we take up on this earth. I think Mr. Taub and Mr. Day's decades of service to this country is more rent than most of us will ever be asked to pay. I urge your colleagues to confirm both Mr. Taub and Mr. Day to ensure that the Postal Regulatory Commission can continue to do its important work on behalf of all of us who are the, uh, uh, the uh, unfortunate beneficiaries of the Constitution that was written all those years ago and the promise that it uh, provided for our country. And with that, Madam uh, President, I uh, would note the absence of quorum, and I want to thank you, and I want to thank our colleagues and uh, ask for their support of the nomination of these two excellent, excellent candidates. Thank you.